Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Modicky, and I am a board-certified Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. The least invasive technique may not be the least risky, and that has to do with the liquid rhinoplasty. A lot of people hear the term liquid rhinoplasty, you know, so it's injectables in my nose, and I can fix everything, and there's no risk. I'm just gonna go in and get it done at lunchtime, and there's gonna be no problems. And the problem with uh, the liquid rhinoplasty, again, in, the, in people that know the anatomy, properly trained, well experienced, probably fairly low risk. But in the wrong hands, this can be an extremely risky procedure. And the reason is, again, the blood flow. So with the surgery, you know, you may cut an artery or blood flow and that can cause a problem. But with the injectable, they can put it right into a vessel and literally do the same thing. They can clot that vessel off permanently. And again, it will kill the tip of the nose or cause skin necrosis. I think people, when they hear that term, have to realize that that procedure can be risky in the wrong hands. And it can be good in the right hands, but just be careful about who's injecting it and know their experience with that technique and make sure they know what they're doing. Thing, you know, people are coming in saying, yeah, I'm going to go do this tomorrow. And I'm like, who's injecting it? I don't know. What's their experience level? I don't know. Do they do a lot? Maybe. I'm like, are you crazy? You know, what they don't realize is that the complications from the liquid rhinoplasty can be just as bad or worse than the tip necrosis from a surgical procedure because you know, you may damage or bruise a blood vessel, get some recovery, but if they inject and, and permanently block that blood vessel, it's, it's gonna cause tip necrosis and, and maybe even more. It can kill the entire nose. It can kill the whole side of the nose, the entire side of the face. You know, again, I'm not trying to scare people. I'm just trying to say, be aware. Be aware of what you're getting yourself into. Uh, and that's really where, the, where I'm really trying to inform people. I always used to hear like, oh, people got fillers in the garage or whatever. And I'm like, well, what's the worst that could happen? Like, that's not that bad. Blindness. It is insane, but it depends who is injecting. Yeah. You know, it's not, again, it's a bad sign if you're doing it in a non-professional environment, but it's really who's the injector and what's going on. And it's most likely not going to be somebody, you know, experienced doing yeah, something like that. Yeah, what's the motivation for that? Yeah. 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 They're trying to make I some know. money on the side. Yeah. 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 So again, that's, that's that. And if something goes wrong, then they're, they're just going to disappear. Or, you know, you, you won't be able to do much. It depends what, it really depends on the situation. But I just think that people, that there are risks associated with fillers. But it's not just something you want to play with, like you said, in a hotel or garage. It's just, it can be very risky if, if the injector doesn't know their anatomy or what's going on.